Hello, I'm Dr. Paul Tuttle, a pediatric and adult rheumatologist here at OSMS. If I ask you to describe a person with arthritis, you'd probably start with age, someone 55, maybe 60 years or older. And while more than 50 million adults do have arthritis and your chances of having it increase with age, it also affects around 300,000 children. Juvenile arthritis, otherwise known as juvenile idiopathic arthritis, is a rheumatic condition where the immune system mistakenly attacks a child's own body, specifically the joints. It is important for children with juvenile arthritis to start receiving treatment as soon as possible to minimize damage to the joints. Here are three common signs of juvenile arthritis. Pain related to juvenile arthritis typically is mild and develops slowly over time as opposed to an injury that happens suddenly with severe pain. The pain can be in one or numerous joints. Juvenile arthritis can also cause joints to feel stiff in the morning. To parents, the stiffness may seem like slowness or awkwardness with movement and walking. The stiffness is worse right when the child wakes up, but then generally improves as they start moving over time. Swelling around painful joints is another sign of juvenile arthritis. The skin may also get red or even feel warm to touch. A child may say that a joint feels hot. Swelling related to juvenile arthritis usually is persistent and does not come and go quickly. It can be difficult to spot juvenile arthritis in this early stages, plus some younger children aren't always able to communicate their pain or stiffness to their caregivers. So if you spot any of these three signs, it's time to see a physician to get a proper diagnosis. Uh, juvenile arthritis is a lifelong disease, but remission is often an attainable goal, especially when it's diagnosed in its early stages.